Hey everyone, it's Scott from CertMedia.com, and in this video, I'm recording a little bit earlier because I saw an article come up on my newsfeed this morning regarding Cloudflare moving away from RE Captcha to using H Captcha. And I read through the post on their website and this article on ZDNet, and it ultimately comes down to it looks like Google will be charging for RE Captcha in the future. Now, the details of that are still very far and few between. We don't know what they're going to charge and who's going to have to pay for this service. But if it's anything like what happened with the Google Maps API, looking for an alternative might be a necessary course of action. So Cloudflare switched to HCAPTCHA, which is a, another project. It's a little bit different though. The HCAPTCHA project supports Privacy Pass, which is a browser extension. And when you have Privacy Pass on there, it's supposed to help eliminate as many CAPTCHAs and it comes with some other goodies from a privacy concern. But the point of view is it looks like HCAPTCHA and its smaller form has some advantages over RE CAPTCHA, including the fact that you can make money off of it, which is something that RE CAPTCHA never offered. So I'm gonna be going through how you can install and set up RE CAPTCHA for WordPress and why you might want to. So, uh, the great thing about HCAPTCHA is it has a free plugin on the WordPress.org repository. You just search for HCAPTCHA from WordPress. We're just going to go ahead and do that right now. And it does integrate with a lot of the default forms. Uh, GForms and HCAPTCHA is an add-on for Gravity Forms. I did test this and this one does work just fine. And HCAPTCHA for WordPress, once you install it, you go to the settings window and you go to H captcha and then you will have a ton of sub options and this is very similar to advanced caption no re caption in the general configuration you can choose a size to be normal or compact just like re captcha you could choose to have a light or a dark theme and then all you need is a site key and a secret key to do that you have to sign up on hcaptcha.com it is totally free to get set up and they're going to give you a unique site key and a secret key. All you have to do is paste those in there, like so. You can choose to override language detection. If the language detection is incorrectly registering your language, so for instance, this happens in, for, let's just say you have your website in Korean, but it's falsely detecting it as Mandarin, you could easily just change it and override it here. I won't need to do that because it, let's just safe to say that everything almost always works for English. And then you can choose where to enable it. Uh, I have tested it on contact form seven and it worked without issue. And you can use the common forms for WordPress, the login form and the register form. That's typically what I use it on. If you're in BuddyPress, you can set it up in additional pages and you can also set up HCAPTCHA for Jetpack contact forms, which is a nice addition because not a lot of plugins actually go out and support the Jetpack contact forms. So we're gonna go ahead and we're just going to enable it for the login and register forms so that way we can show you what it looks like. Once we've done that, we can log out. And now as you can see, it's now on my login page. It looks very similar to RE Caption. Keep in mind that I put on the dark theme, even though this is not a dark theme website. And it works functionally the same. You click I am human and it w sometimes will prompt you to help learn. And then it says, please click an image of an umbrella. Well, this is an umbrella. This is an umbrella. And that's the only umbrellas. And then you go to the next page. Sometimes there's one page. Sometimes there's multiple. And then you just tag all the images that are umbrellas. Once you click that, it'll pass and you're validate and you're able to sign in just like that. It's basically RE CAPTCHA, but a free alternative. Additionally, you can do a couple things. You can collect the money to donate to charity, if you wish, or you can uh, not donate it to charity. So if you want to donate it to the Wikimedia Foundation, which is the foundation behind Wikipedia, you're free to do so right here. Totally fine, totally acceptable. Um, the one thing that I will note is there's some interesting settings that you can configure in here. So if you go over to here, you're, you'll get your general statistics, but you can also set the CAPTCHA difficulty and you can set host names, which I do recommend you set up. You set up host names to avoid people from scraping your keys and putting them on their own website. 
I have no idea why anybody would ever do that for a CAPTCHA software, but it's to help alleviate potential threats like that. For the CAPTCHA difficulty, as you increase it, what this does is it makes the images more difficult to detect and may add additional checks. So you know how just we went through two pages of images to check. We could go through three or four or however many it determines we need, the higher the difficulty. Typically me medium, uh, sorry, moderate is the ideal difficulty for most users. It's not too complicated. And another thing that you can do is filter CAPTCHAs by an audience interest. So for instance, if you're a gaming website, you can set up games and entertainment as the CAPTCHA type. The benefit here is, is it just helps your audience solve specific images that they're already gonna have base knowledge of. So that way, if you get a very ambiguous CAPTCHA, for instance, and it says it wants you to find a boat, but does the boat mean that it's also, does it count kayaks as well? Kayaks are a boat, but if the Im images that it shows are only for yachts and fishing boats and sailboats and so on and so forth. This just makes it easier for you to modify the audience interest to make the captures easier to solve. Um, other than that, I haven't had any issues with it. I'm pretty impressed. I very well might set it up on more websites. My one gripe at the moment is, while it does have pretty broad integration, it loads the HCAPTCHA JS, as you can see, on every page indiscriminately. The one thing I would suggest to the developers of HCAPTCHA and for the WordPress plugin is, if you're going to be loading the API, you should only do it for each of the options that are enabled. Meaning if I enable HCAPTCHA for my login form and my register form on the WordPress pages by default, then I shouldn't have that JS load on the front end because even though their JS is fairly small and it's pretty well optimized, there's just no reason to load it when it isn't necessary. So that's about all I have for now for HCAPTCHA. If you're looking for an alternative for RE CAPTCHA for when it goes paid and we don't know what the details are, you'll have a free alternative that is backed and being supported by Cloudflare in the form of payments. So if you have any questions, please feel free to ask in the comments below. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching and goodbye.